What if the largest city of the ancient world lay hidden beneath the dense jungles of Southeast Asia? A civilization lost to time, its colossal structures and intricate artistry swallowed by the earth. Deep in Cambodia, the magnificent Angkor Wat stands as a silent sentinel. More than just a temple, it is a gateway to a forgotten empire, a realm of mystery and grandeur. In 1860, French explorer Henri Mouhot ventured into the uncharted forests. Amidst the towering trees, he stumbled upon something extraordinary, a sprawling temple complex, its spires piercing the sky, its carvings breathtaking in their detail. Muhot was awestruck. He had uncovered a civilization whose achievements rivaled the greatest empires known to man. But what secrets did these stones hold? What stories lay buried beneath the jungle floor? This is the story of Angkor. A story of kings and gods, of engineers and artists, of a civilization that rose to unimaginable heights and then vanished. What if the largest city of the ancient world lay hidden beneath the dense jungles of Southeast Asia, its colossal structures and intricate artistry forgotten by time? Deep in Cambodia, the magnificent Angkor Wat stands not just as a temple, but as a gateway to a civilization shrouded in mystery and grandeur. In 1860, French explorer Henri Mouho ventured into the uncharted forests of Cambodia. Amidst the towering trees and tangled vines, he stumbled upon something extraordinary, a sprawling temple complex with soaring spires and exquisite carvings. Astonished, he wrote, One of these temples, a rival to that of Solomon and erected by some ancient Michelangelo, might take an honourable place beside our most beautiful buildings. His discovery of Angkor Wat unveiled to the Western world a civilization whose achievements rivaled the greatest empires known. Angkor Wat is the largest religious monument on earth, covering over 162 hectares. Built in the early 12th century by King Suryavarman II, it was dedicated to the Hindu god Vishnu before transforming into a Buddhist temple. The temple's five central towers symbolize the peaks of Mount Meru, the sacred mountain at the center of the Hindu universe. Its walls are adorned with over 2,000 intricately carved apsaras, celestial dancers, each one unique, capturing moments of divine grace and beauty. But Angkor Wat is just the beginning. Nearby lies Angkor Tom, the last capital of the Khmer Empire, established by King Jayavarman VII. At its heart stands the enigmatic Bayan Temple, famous for its massive stone faces gazing serenely in all directions. Taproam, another jewel of this ancient city, is entangled in the roots of giant silk cotton trees, a haunting reminder of nature's reclaim over man-made marvels. Further afield, Bantei Sre, built of red sandstone, showcases some of the finest carvings in Khmer art, so delicate they've been called a precious gem. For centuries, the true scale of this civilization remained hidden, but recent advances have peeled back the layers of time. Using LiDAR technology, light detection and ranging, scientists have mapped the landscape beneath the jungle canopy. This revolutionary technology can penetrate dense vegetation, revealing the contours of the ground below. What they found is astounding. Angkor was not just a collection of temples, but part of a vast urban complex, possibly the largest pre-industrial city in the world, supporting up to one million inhabitants. This brings us to a fascinating theory. Angkor as a hydraulic city. Scholars propose that the Khmer Empire's success was due in large part to its sophisticated water management system. Massive reservoirs called berets, some measuring 8 kilometers long and holding up to 50 million cubic meters of water, collected and distributed water through an intricate network of canals, moats and spillways. 
This system wasn't merely for irrigation. It regulated floods, supported multiple rice harvests annually, and was integral to urban planning and religious symbolism. Imagine the ingenuity required to build such a system without modern machinery. The Khmer engineers demonstrated a deep understanding of hydrology and engineering. The West Beret and East Beret were marvels of their time, enabling the cultivation of multiple rice crops per year and supporting a thriving population. The canals connected temples, residential areas and farmlands, reflecting a city meticulously planned with both practicality and spirituality in mind. But how were the colossal stones of Angkor Wat transported and assembled? The primary material was sandstone from the Kulin Hills, located about 40 kilometers away. Over 5 million tons of stone were quarried, a monumental task. The Khmer devised an ingenious solution. They utilized the waterways. During the rainy season, when water levels were high, stones were loaded onto rafts made from buoyant bamboo and logs. These rafts floated down the Siem Reap River and through a network of canals directly to the construction site. The artistry didn't stop with construction. The temple walls are alive with bas reliefs depicting mythological scenes, battles, and daily life. Nearly 1,000 square meters of these carvings tell stories from the Ramayana and Mahabharata, bringing to life gods, demons, and heroes. Each Apsara carving is unique, showcasing the high level of artistic expression and attention to detail that defined Khmer craftsmanship. Yet, despite all this sophistication, the Khmer Empire eventually declined. Environmental changes offer some clues. Studies suggest that prolonged droughts followed by intense monsoons in the 14th and 15th centuries may have overwhelmed the hydraulic system. The very infrastructure that supported their rise could not adapt to drastic climate variability, leading to agricultural failure and weakening the empire's stability. The use of LIDAR has not only revolutionized our understanding of Angkor, but has also transformed archaeology globally. Similar technology has uncovered hidden Mayan cities in Guatemala and unknown structures around Stonehenge in the United Kingdom. By revealing what was once invisible, LIDAR allows us to rediscover lost chapters of human history. UNESCO has called Angkor one of the most important archaeological sites in Southeast Asia. It's more than ruins. It's a living chronicle of a civilization's zenith, ingenuity, and complex relationship with the environment. As we delve deeper, we uncover lessons about sustainability, innovation, and the impermanence of even the greatest human achievements. So, what if the true legacy of Angkor Wat isn't just in its stones and carvings, but in the questions it raises about our own civilization? In understanding how the Khmer Empire harnessed nature, celebrated art, and built monuments that touch the sky, we might find insights into how we shape our world today. The secrets of Angkor Wat continue to be unearthed, each discovery peeling back another layer of this enigmatic empire. It's a reminder that history is not just a record of the past, but a mirror reflecting timeless aspects of the human spirit, the drive to create, to explore, and to leave a lasting mark on the world. If you were blown away by Angkor Wat, just wait until you see what we've got in store for you next. We're diving deep into the heart of the jungle to explore the mysteries of the ancient Olmec civilization. Prepare to be amazed. These guys were around long before the Aztecs or Mayans, and they left behind some incredible stuff. Colossal stone heads, intricate artwork, and pyramids that will blow your mind. We'll uncover their secrets, explore their advanced knowledge, and tackle some of the wildest theories about their sudden disappearance. Were they visited by ancient aliens? We'll examine the evidence and let you decide. Join us on our next adventure as we unravel the enigma of the Olmec civilization. For millennia, they lay hidden beneath the emerald shroud of the Mexican rainforest. 
giants of stone, frozen in an eternal gaze, their secrets slumbering beneath layers of earth and time. A civilization so ancient, it predates the mighty Aztecs and the enigmatic Maya. They were the Olmecs, the mother culture of Mesoamerica. Their cities, once teeming with life, now lie silent, reclaimed by the relentless jungle. But their legacy endures, etched in colossal stone heads, intricate carvings, and enigmatic symbols that defy explanation. Who were these master builders and artists? How did they achieve such monumental feats of engineering without the wheel or metal tools? And why did their civilization vanish, leaving behind only whispers in the wind and these silent stone sentinels? Join us as we journey deep into the heart of Olmec territory to uncover the truth behind a civilization lost to time.